This is Royal Caribbean's Utopia of the Seas. Almost as long as the Empire State Building is tall, she boasts nearly 3,000 staterooms, over 40 ways to dine and drink, a theater, and ice skating rink. But how does a ship get here from here? How is a cruise ship built? It all starts off with culture. And in our culture, in our DNA, is waking up every day, dreaming and innovating about what the future experience could look like. The first step in creating a phenomenal family vacation is ideation. When we start from the very beginning, it's always just, who are we trying to attract here? What do they want? What are their needs? And how can we exceed those expectations? Let's think of something new. Let's think of, how can we think out of the box? How can we do something that has never been done before on the seas? Million and a half working hours at the design work, taking the conceptual design and build that into detailed design and workshop plans and, and, and so on. The team works with one of three shipyards, depending on the size of the ship. As we have delivered the design, all the specifications, the shipyard and their turnkey partner are executing towards our design vision. The shipyard places material orders for the upcoming construction while preparing the yard for the task. During the construction of a cruise ship, we start with the steel cutting ceremony. We cut the very first piece of steel. So it's a kind of a symbolic moment. And at this point when we cut the steel is the very beginnings of the construction. A ceremonial silhouette of the new ship is cut from the same steel that makes up the hull. The steel is transported and used to construct blocks. The ships are built via small components. Those components are joined together in what's known as blocks. The blocks are attached while the ship is in a dry dock. It's actually not, not over the water at all. The first one that we put in there is the keel for the keel laying ceremony. It symbolizes the starting point of assembling the ship in the dry dock, and it is a celebration for a big milestone. We're very excited to be here, honored to be here on this uh, very important day as we lay the keel. Lucky coins are a hugely important part of the tradition what we are doing. You put the coins under the keel. It symbolizes the enormous team effort. With keel in place, what happens next? Blocks are prefabricated off the dock um, and then brought in and lifted and assembled almost like a big puzzle. One year to prepare this, build these box. The second year to weld them together and put the big components into that the engines, the propellers. So all the technical, all the cables, all the trunks, all the AC ducting are in there. With all blocks connected, the exterior shell of the ship is complete. But what about the interior? The cabins get prefabricated close by to the shipyard, roughly 12 months for all the cabins. Fabrication is fully industrialized and they are all built and get lifted onto the ship. While rooms are being built and installed, work is done on the public venues as well. The exterior shell is cleaned and painted, which prepares the ship for her next major milestone, float out. The float out is really, to me, the culmination of, of putting the ship together in pieces. The ship really looks like a ship, and it has a bow and it has a stern. They fill the dock with water, and so the ship actually lifts and floats for the very first time. So it's a very critical point in the ship's life as she leaves the dock for the first time. Once the ship is floating, construction work continues until the next major milestone, sea trials. The sea trial is to test the ship, see if they can meet all of the performance criteria. Things like speed, how do the engines perform at a higher RPM, things that you simply can't do at the dock. We have contractual requirements for the design of the ship and the sea trial is both to ensure everything works, but then to also see if we meet all the criteria. Back at the shipyard, venues start to come to life as construction nears completion. Next up, delivery. Delivery is a big special moment for us because we become really true owners of the vessel at that point. We get the keys, we sign the check. Very, very excited today to take delivery. It's an important milestone. It also represents the official handover to the Royal Caribbean Group. 
there's still work to go do. Work that we've wanted to change and iterate on over time, and we typically take that on pre-arrival as part of what we call owner's work, and so that owner's work will happen for just a couple of weeks. We need to get the artwork in. We need to get some of the signage elements into the ship. We also do sometimes some more complex changes. The construction work is done, the furniture is loaded, and all the technical commissioning has happened. So when you turn on a switch, the light comes on. All venues are clean, fully furnished, and stocked. The ship is finally ready for her first guests. It is a super exciting time. There's a huge amount of pride. There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of anticipation. The part that gets me the most excited is being on board to watch the faces of the guests when they arrive. Just the most fulfilling part to watch their jaws drop. After an incredible construction process, the ship is ready to deliver the vacation of a lifetime.